rise and shine. And today on Rise and Shine, we'll be talking to a few of our guests who have been a part of Rise and Shine all throughout. They've been a part of the show and uh, they've spoken to us about uh, their journey too. So today we will be talking to yet another personality who has been with us and who is also a massive influence to many out there. So we have with us Mr. Yasas Hevage, a marketer, sales coach and also a cyclist. And uh, good morning to you. Good morning to you. And Mr. Yasas, it would be great if you could tell us about your experience on our show. I don't know. Every time I've done something interesting, I always get a call from you guys. And, you know, I've been part of this show for a couple of times. And I always say yes because it's very easy to come to your show because you guys start early and rise and shine. So, so I've been part of uh, all the events I've done, the cycling events from the very early stages where we got Sri Lanka to get active get on the bicycles and start riding so that journey has come a long way so i'm sure if you go through your footage rise and shine has always been there you know talking about it and uh, so i think it's been uh, this show's done a lot in that sense uh, big believer in this simple concept of wake up early i have a hashtag called 4 a.m sri lanka i can imagine that the crew here who goes through to get this show together right? you have the 4 a.m hashtag registered oh there you go yeah. <laughs> So I think it's a great message in that context to get up something interesting and insightful in the morning. So I've been able to get my little discussion on getting healthy, getting active and getting competitive by a simple thing about cycling, right? So you've come a long way uh, and you guys have featured all those lovely things we've done. So that's great. Thank you and good luck and congratulations. Ninth year? Ninth year, Ninth exactly. Year, yeah. <laughs> And from veterans in the sports arena to upcoming athletes, we feature all of them on the show. Yes. What do you think uh, about the importance of featuring upcoming personalities on the show? Now, I think so many people do a lot of things, but you're more, wherever, I mean, early bird catches a worm, that was what I was told, mm -hmm. we don't catch worms anymore. I know we are used to catching all our opportunities now in the nights because there's social media, there's digital, you necessarily don't have to do what you did in the morning, you can do it in the evening. But by getting up in the morning, the insights that you share, might be an athlete or a musician like this or a sportsman, that dose. So that's very important. So you guys started long ago, but now you are more important because people go hours into the night, they're pretty uh, tired in the morning, and then you can't get too much done during the day if you don't wake up in the morning. So what have you done now? You got to be really doing it more now because... You are like becoming a small group who wakes up in the morning, right? <laughs> so Rise and Shine's next 10 years is a must. So yeah, all the athletes, all the sports people, the doctors, all what you guys bring in, you got to drive that in. I know you talk about this as an English show. I see mm -hmm. this as a show that's for Sri Lanka. Because even a kid in the village who wants to get two words of English into their head in the morning, this is a show. Because this talks sense, this doesn't talk politics, this doesn't talk anything else. And you reach the country, right? Exactly, yes. So it's not just an English show. It's about being positive and getting that vibe out early in the morning. So pick a piece of rice and shine. And that's, that's very clear. So Thank keep you up the good so work. Much. <laughs> Thank you so much for those amazing words. And means a lot to us. And exactly, speaking of sports personalities, every Sunday on Rise and Shine, we make it a point to have a sports personality. And we've always featured people who have excelled in that arena. And we would like to congratulate all the sportsmen and women who have brought pride to our island nation as well. Because you make a name for us and you go out there to the world and perform your best because it's individual. You know, it's, it's your effort because, uh, you know, even if it's cricket or marathon or participating at the Olympics, South Asian Games and indoor games, there's plenty out there. Even if you're playing chess, it's all your individual talent. So it's amazing to have amazing sports personalities and we are proud to have featured uh, many of them on the show all throughout uh, every Sunday on Rise and Shine. So hats off to those sports personalities as well who have been a part of the show. And uh, Yasas, uh, you've spoken uh, to us about the importance of having a show of this caliber. What would you like to tell uh, young sportsmen and women out there? Sports is part of life. Mm -hmm. uh, today it doesn't have to end when you leave school. So many competitions are out there now, which are amateur, which are recreational. So you can run a marathon all your life. When we did Ironman last time, the oldest athletes were 83 years. 
when we did the race the pearl, that is the bottom to the top 24 hour race on a bicycle. Youngest was 17. So, so you are a sportsman all your life. You can just bring that sportsman in you uh, anytime you want. So, but the principle is if you want to do something that you've never done before, you've got to wake up early. Uh, that's this 4 a.m. message. You just have to Google 4 a.m. celebrities, 4 a.m. CEOs in the world. You take Steve, Tim Cook of Apple, 345. It's about you doing something for yourself. So in that context, I, I want to go beyond sport. The exactly. message of rise and shine is just simple. You've got to wake up early and do something for yourself. Sport, your yoga, your dancing, whatever, reading. Now today morning I just took a Maggie boat and drew a structure for a company that I'm rebranding. And I could only do that in the morning. That, that half an hour is amazing. Because you're, I heard I think your doctor spoke early. Your system's fresh and is working. And then you have to wish birthday to people you don't know on Facebook. People are going to call you and bother you. People will want to make up a coffee for you. The world wakes up. So you've got to wake up before that. 15 minutes is enough just to jump up and down with a skipping rope. you got some calories burn, 110 calories burn in 10 minutes. So if you will do a lot of things during the day for everybody else. But you've got to do that 10, 15, 20 minutes for you. And imagine 365 days like that. And I pick a bit of rice and shine on the way. <laughs> Actually, listen to Sharon. She used to be, you know, and, yeah, in the morning waking up and, yeah. And that's she's, she's still doing that. Doing that. <laughs> I, I, some people don't sleep like her, but th that's not good. <laughs> My problem is also that. Like, you've got to sleep, right? My you problem is to keep an alarm to sleep. Because sleeping is a problem. Now. Waking up is no problem. So You have to do that. No, that's difficult because <laughs> you have so much happening. So mm -hmm. people are contacting you. You're... You're disturbed all the time today, right? On social media, people are intruding your life all the time. Mm -hmm. So just half an hour, you get in the morning for you. That's gold. So I think everything you guys are doing right now, what time did you wake up today? Today at yeah. around 3.30. Can you, you get it, right? That's yes, the reason I was I rising and shining. <laughs> half of Sri Lanka is sleeping right now and they want to do well. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get the, my point? That's the whole problem. All this crew here, I don't know where they come from. They are the answer to the next. I mean, I'm just reading this book. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I don't know whether you you pick, you got to pick this up. Daniel Goldman talks about the future skill is focus, because you're always disturbed. You're going to do something, and somebody wants to show you a video that you don't want to see. <laughs> you get it, right? Ability to focus is key, and that starts with this little thing in the morning. And I think that's the whole idea: sport, swimming, whatever you're saying. Get that little ten minutes of focus, and that's all you're going to have. Rest exactly. of the day is tsunami, chaos, <laughs> digital chaos. Right? You got to have some time for yourself, love yourself and do what is best for you in that little time you've got. So thank you so much, Mr. Yasas Hevage, for those amazing words. It's actually motivation for us and inspiration. Thank you so much for being a part of Rise and Shine, yeah. being a part of our journey as well. Thank Four you. Poem Sri Lanka. It's always <laughs> a pleasure to have you with us. Rise and shine.